This is a way to make emergency toilet paper. The whole uh, country is having shortages of different kinds. In my area, um, basically the stores are out of toilet paper. On the right, you see a stack of muslin squares. They're basically four inches square. And um, that pile on the right is one yard of fabric. And I got about 88 squares out of it. But what I want to do, and the reason I cut a second yard, I want to make them uh, double thickness. So I'm going to take two squares at a time and go around the edge with a Singer stitch so quick. This is one of the more reliable handheld stitchers. You could also use a vintage one that doesn't take batteries. If you have one or a handy stitch, um, you could also do it by hand or by hand crank or any machine. But this is something um, with a, a stitch so quick, anybody can use this. Um, these take four AA batteries and this brand in particular takes my rechargeable battery, so it's a good one to have. It takes regular 15x1 sewing machine needles. So what I'm going to do is just put two squares together, go around the edges with a Singer Stitch So Quick. I've made a crocheted box of just six panels of uh, granny squares that are going to hold these in the bathroom. And um, instead of, uh, you can't flush them, obviously, and instead of throwing them away, they're going to go into a diaper pail type setup. My son is grown, but I used to use cloth diapers. They're going to go into a pail or a covered bucket that has a bleach solution in it, and then they get rinsed before they get washed in the washer. So they're reusable. Um, They'll save trees, and we can have emergency toilet paper. It's uh, muslin is very inexpensive. This was about um, 42 inches wide, and then obviously a yard is 36 inches, 88 squares. The average roll of toilet paper, I think, has 72 or 76 squares. So one yard of fabric, if you use them, single thickness will give you about a roll of toilet paper, a little more. Two yards will give you either two of them or double thickness. Emergency times!